You know, people talk about forgiveness. You can forgive a person, but they can still stay locked up. It's been more than 20 years since an actress from Akron was murdered by the man she lived with. Now her family is asking the public to help keep him locked up, starting a petition to deny his parole. And tonight, News 5's Nadine Abusada talked with the family about forgiveness and the battle they've been fighting for so long. For you all to have to, like, keep coming back and fighting this, you know, that's just, just not right. For Julius Landrum, her daughter Selena, and her husband Vincent, they are all reliving the pain of losing Lilius Landrum, a sister. The loving, kind, sweet, beautiful person that prayed a lot. An aunt. I just remember that warm, I, beautiful smile. She was a beautiful lady. And a friend, which is why they're fighting to keep her killer, Tony Smith, behind bars. I think he should be in there forever. Lilius lost her life in 1998. She was a young actress who met Tony Smith during her prison ministry. She just started writing him and they met and she brought him into the community. Soon Lilius and Tony would move in together and her brother-in-law Vincent would get a phone call he would never forget. I was at home and her father, uh, Ju Julius Landrum, called and told me what happened. He had gone to the house and he actually saw his daughter's gruesome murder. Lilius was found dead in the basement of the duplex her and Tony lived in with her body dismembered. Just unbelievable, you know, that you could really trust someone and believe them, believe in them and promote them the way she did and to have that happen. In December of 1998, Smith pled guilty to her murder. He was sentenced to life in prison with possible parole at 15 years. This case is one of the most gruesome murders that this office has ever prosecuted. While in prison, he wrote the family two letters. For me, it was very difficult to actually see a handwritten letter and to be feeling that ink that he actually sat down and wrote with the hands that had slaughtered her. But for the family, it wasn't nearly enough. There is no apology. He says, I can't bring her back, and it doesn't do any good to say why it happened. They fought his parole once, getting a 10-year extension, and they're fighting it again, hoping for the same. Because he is going up for parole, we have to keep taking the Band-Aid off and keep going through this every time it happens. You know, unfortunately, our only option right now is to just fight like crazy. Reporting in Akron, Nadina Busada, News 5. And Tony Smith's hearing is December 21st. If he is given parole, the prosecutor does have the ability to object and request a full board hearing. You can learn more about the petition campaign against his parole in this story on our website. That's news5cleveland.com.